Hey all, this is Earth. Welcome back to the Battle for the Nile. We apparently have a successful embassy as soon as I log in. So nice. 20 influence with Kabul. Sweet. Now what were we doing? Ah yes, building the National College. Oh, of course we were. What are you doing that's causing you so much trouble? Ah yes, that's right. We're building a farm here. Uh, lighthouse makes sense. We can make use of the fish and that'll be really jump-starting us. Uh, our money's in the absolute pooper, which is really bad. Uh, we're gonna get a water mill up. We can probably put off the walls for now, since we're not in active war with anyone. Though, I may change that. Let me leave that queued up. I tend to not... I tend to underbuild walls, basically. No when I actually need them, I don't have them. What I may do is chop this forest so we can get that cargo ship out a little faster. I'm hella depressed as to why our money is so bad, but... Maybe this will help. I don't think I can sell anything else to really stop the bleeding. At this point, I mean, I can sell my iron, I guess. But I kind of want to keep my iron. Um, let's see. Who are you on iron, probably? Akhenaten. Yeah, we can get a little bit. Give her two for three. We can turn the balance of payments upwards, at least. We'll get iron back at some point when our economy improves. Yeah? Nice. We got another one knocking out. I mean, this is likely not going to bite me in the ass because he's pretty far from me. I mean, I wouldn't say very far, but he's not that close. He's, he's over there, and he's behind Ramses, which is the issue. And given enough iron, he may be persuaded to actually attack Ramses because he thinks he's going to beat him. All right, good. Nair economy is a zero. Uh, so sad, but this will hopefully put in the positives. Uh, I, I'm kind of in the crapper because I built a bunch of military just in case uh, this guy invaded. And we are going to crank out another settler to go here because we have the happiness to do so. And I'm probably going to do it right here. I don't want to sit on any of the sheep because they're good tiles. And while I would like to be near the mountain, I want to make sure I get the other fish as well. Which is going to let me do it from here. One, two, three. Oh, no, it's not actually. What the hell am I talking about? I got this completely wrong. Um, okay, so maybe I should do it on the mountain. We'll get sheep. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll miss a sheep, basically. And miss another sheep. Ah, you know what? I have a bunch of cities that are capable of observatories already. So you know what? I am going to drop it right here. This will just be overall better. And give me double sheep across the way. Sheep, horse. You know, all the things I pretty much want. Not stone, but that's actually all right. The two iron, not really that worthwhile. I think this is still better. Let's keep up space better, too. What you need to do, make sure barbarians stop spawning everywhere. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I think we're just going to keep going. Let's keep going. We are still building things, too, so our economies keep getting, getting hurt from the Colosseums and things we're trying to crank out, but that's all right. Part of the uh, cautionary tale we're dealing with here. Kabul and Egypt are allies. Which Egypt? That's, that's a very good question. Which Egypt are we... Oh, no, they, they were briefly... Seven. Oh, we can give them a gift or something. Oh, we should probably pledge to protect these guys since we're really, really buddies here. Um, yeah, no longer allies. Okay, so they just kind of got there and then left. Columbia along for culture. May not win that one, I'm just saying. All right, scout. We can take a look at this little thing and then go next to Pyramids and see what's up there. Chop this to help the cargo ship along because I need me my money. I'm a plus one. Hells to the yeah, what happened? I'm not sure. I think we just got richer. Maybe I just got deep. All right, go to sleep and watch my territory here. I'm a little worried about something coming up here and screwing me, but for now, this is all good. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the ninth population, finish that, and crank out the last settler, and that'll be just fine. We do have the bonus to building settlers in our capital via Liberty, so we're going to try to take advantage of that. We are also getting market technology, which will be the next building set, I think, as soon as all these finish. And that's going to help my economy out immeasurably because it's still... We're expanding really hard at the moment, and we want to make sure we do it right here. It is. Uh, yeah, 50% in the capital. So very good. Okay, scout. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right, not much is going on. Kadesh is expanding that way. Unsurprisingly, he got the natural wonder. Things happen. Uh, that road is done. That road is almost done. That road is done. Okay, so the road network is more or less completed. Is there anything that's unimproved here? This is a forest grassland river, so yes, that's going to be a farm in a second. Um, do this so I can move better, not because I get a benefit immediately. Uh, why don't you go over here and help me out with the wheat? And we'll get the iron at some point, but that's that's at some point. Ooh, iron here. Never mind. We'll be just fine. So that iron that we sold is not going to hurt us that much. 
And how many workers do we actually have? Is it five? Is it one per city that we can pull out? Yeah, we have one per city. And we got our roads more or less done except for this one. I really should probably do that last road, but I might get the guy from Kermit the Frog to do it. Probably be better in the long run. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see. I do need to build that road still, though. And I'm probably going to need more than one worker to do so successfully. I didn't really get a lot of money out of this city connection. I was only a plus two because of it. That's all right. Uh, and then that's going to take up a maintenance point, and all this stuff's going to go badly. That's eh, okay. I'm being maybe a little too pessimistic about it, but... I just have this feeling our economy's not going to improve until we get markets up everywhere. But this is still worth it to improve, and that's going to be worth it to improve to make it camp. It's a really good tile, actually. Is there a better tile I could be working besides? I need the money, otherwise I would work the production. But I will drop my next citizen there, at least, and that's going to be good growth. Kassiri Brim is suffering from a food shortage. Like I said, I improve that, and then things will be better. Let's do that. That still needs to be improved. Once that chops, though... Because it's not our tile yet. I'm going to move these two over to do the road to Kerma. And then I'll be actually done with the roads. Then we can start improving the rest. And that probably just fine by me. We've almost got time for another pagoda. Which I'm going to get immediately. I mean, if we're not enhancing our religion right now. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. I see freaking missionaries running around trying to convert me. I want to make sure I've got pagodas in all the cities I possibly can. Like, that one's going to be annoying. I don't have a pagoda there. I have one there. I have one there, and then I need to buy basically two more before these missionaries start going bananas on me. All right, and Jerusalem is settled there. Um, all right, so I was going to go in there with my scout, and now I can't. Let's go around Jerusalem, I guess. No, I can't even do that. No open borders. Right, I guess we have to go up toward Vancouver, eh? and uh, get in the water that way. Fine, fine, fine. See if I care. Go up that way. You go up that way, and we'll keep... We'll get the iron at some point. We still have some. We need to upgrade something to a swordsman, so that's all right. That's a farm, and next, as we keep cruising our way to the National College. Like I said, a little late, but with five cities, it's actually pretty good timing. Um, because I have five cities, not because it's, like, great timing overall. Usually you want to get that before you start dropping, like, your fourth and fifth. I mean, four is okay. Five is a little crazy, but we just needed to keep up and take up some space before Pavis decided to come and visit. Once the lighthouse gets built, I'm going to switch this tile, obviously, because two fish tiles are going to be bananas good. All right, uh, looks like that one's going away. You might try to convert Kerma, so let's get the Pagoda there for... Oh, you have a Pagoda already. Oh, SOB. Okay, so only Faras is the one without a Pagoda. Do that. And then I'll probably enhance my religion after that. Let me make sure I have Pagodas everywhere. One, two, three, four, and then that one doesn't. So I'll either buy one there if this converts fast enough. And if it doesn't convert fast enough, because we're getting even pressure from Islam, and that... That might not go so good. We have an advantage on citizenry, though. It's because of this. Someone converted this. Probably the Nubians. I blame them. All right. So that's done. Uh, I guess we can go temple for more faith than barracks, I suppose. Judiciary Court's getting built already. Let's go temple for a bit of faith. I'm going to start that at least. I don't work on the market. Let's go then northwards as well to keep an eye on what everyone's doing up there. I mean, hi. Uh, okay, you go here and make the road. I think that'll be the most useful thing we can do. You come here and you start building the road there. Just to get it done. Yeah, that'll make sense. And we all start building roads pretty much next turn. Then that'll be good. We'll be connected. We'll have a road network. Everyone's getting to the medieval. We'll get there soon, too. And we're going to start catching up on science. And that'll be just fine and dandy. Now, I do need money right now pretty badly because I need composites. I'm still running basic archers, so... Part of the whole point, part of the motivating factor in getting my things done and my trade routes done is getting some cash up so I can get composites. What is our next best trade route? Uh, available. Money, money, money! Money! Dongola to Lhasa. I would like to do this. I'm just so worried about barbarians until we drop that city, so I'm not going to do it right now. I don't want to build another one of these things. It takes too damn long. Kerma to Thebes. Where is Thebes? Otherwise known as Thebes. Okay, out there... Well, there! Ah, uh, Maybe? I mean, I wouldn't mind that at all. We get Buddhist pressure, and I'm already getting Islamic pressure, but I got my pagodas, and I'm pretty much happy about that. Ah, uh, I could try it. I'm just worried, like, my brain's gonna come and murder me, and it always sucks so much. Can we get a safer one? Faras to Sain, and that's more science as well. Where's Faras? Faras to Sain. Which one is Sain? 
or CNA. I don't know where 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 the hell is Sain. Can't be that far because we don't have that much range. Oh, it's all way up there. That's definitely gonna get pillaged. God damn it! All right. Um. Well, crap. Or Faras to Ife. I think Faras to Ife is gonna be the safest one right now. So let's just go to Ife and then we'll do it once we have the city down there. We'll send some stuff to Lhasa. So go to Ife. Ife. At least five gold. So that's at least something to improve our economy. So Faras is done. We also grew in Faras, which is good. Let's put you here then. To already improve that tile. We can go Stoneworks. It's free happiness and production, and that's never bad. Let's do that. Do Stoneworks, then probably a Coliseum, so we can keep that whole uh, thing going with the Circus Maximus eventually. You're going to keep moving north to Vancouver. Eh? That's the only one that grew. Yep, indeed. So let's do a road. Let's do a road. We're going to do a road too, and then we'll be finished with that. And our Renato College up in three turns. Oh, glorious day. It'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that, actually. Natural College will be brilliant. Hagia Sophia. Are you going to try to found a religion? He may. That'd be interesting. Narm, are you going to do that? Maybe. Uh, currency. Sweet. So now we're going to shift over to production of markets, because that is super critical right now. So we can get our money up. Market. We got a mint. Ah, we get more money on the silver working. Yeah, it works first. Market first is more important. Faras, finish that and do the market, and then the shrine, that's going to prioritize over the Coliseum, because our happiness is doing okay now, uh, thanks to all the pagodas we've been cranking out. So let's go market and Coliseum in that order. Oh, granary too. So many things I want. Uh, we're going to have the water mill first. Let's put the walls back down there. The water mill is going to give us that little bit of food boost we need. We'll hit civil service sooner rather than later. That's all right. Good. So uh, we got that. We're about to finish our judiciary court, so let's go drama, poetry... Horseback riding and civil service. Let's get into the medieval and then we'll go iron working, I think, just to have a bunch of these swordsmen that are really good. And we can crank out a bunch of them once we have the appropriate materials. And we got another iron expansion. So we're actually going to do very well here. Six iron. We're going to have six iron there. It's going to be glorious. That's a faith point, too. But we are so shy on food in the city that I can't really justify working it. Uh, we need to get something with food <laughs> badly. All right. Up, 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 up. And, oh, Damascus. Wow, you're just spamming cities, son. How many do you have now? Eight cities? Damn! What the hell happened to you? <laughs> what? Eight cities? Oh, I think it's going to be a slugfest pretty soon. Narmer's looking at six cities. I guess I don't really feel bad dropping another one. I guess I'm not that far. Nine cities. Damn. Okay. Yeah, some people expanded a lot, and some people didn't expand for crap this game. That's so bizarre. All right, Settler first, then we'll do the water mill, okay? Uh, settler after the National College, please. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I definitely got to drop my six then, because they're going to just be able to outproduce me at this rate. That's just ludicrous. Got to keep up with the Joneses and the Smiths. Um, oh, man. I wouldn't be minding an armor drop a city here, but it's probably going to be another freaking... Ramses city. I want to say Egyptian, but then there's so many Egyptians in this game. I want to insult one of my actually friendly Egyptian neighbors. All right, Dongola has grown. Let's put you right there for now. Uh, it'll probably slow the settler down. Yeah, let's leave you there before I forget. Cause we are building a settler next. I can slow down my growth for a turn and it won't kill me. And then we'll change. Oh no, we got. It. Ah, damn it, someone else grew, and I didn't realize. I didn't check the uh, memo. Hold on, where is it? No. Yep, you did. Uh, yeah, you need a food tile. Because you're not going to grow fast enough. So go there. Get the temple up. And then we'll do the market. Yeah. We're just getting that much closer to getting these composites refitted. Because I do think with eight cities, he's going to want to come after me. No question in my mind. Like, he's going to be a pain in my ass. I think I might have to go after Ramses first. Do you have any good wonders? I think he has a couple. I'll check that in a second before we freeze the game on going over the turns here. Ramses, what do thou... What dost thou have? Dost thou... Have no, he's nothing. Oh, damn. Narmer has a crap ton of good stuff, though. All right, I'm going to go after Narmer, actually. All right, sorry, buddy. You built too many wonders in that capital of yours. You don't have that many cities, either. Not you. I'm not worried about you. Where's Narmer? There you are. You have six cities. So we can probably run a train through him, more or less. Get Yunu and Nubbed, and then take Thinnies. Um, I, I'm mispronouncing all of these, obviously, but that's not the point. The point is victory. Ah, uh, you are an ass, friend. 
There was a definition of ass I was looking at in the dictionary. It wouldst be thou. Oh, good, we killed him. I was worried about he's going to pillage my wonderful, wonderful luxury, but it looks like that'll be held off for the time being. All right, good. So we're just waiting on the pagoda here. I guess I'll probably have to expand my religion first, enhance it. Great, now we've got nine pressure from Islam. So there's basically no way we'll do this unless we burn our profit to do that. But I don't want to burn my profit. I guess I'll just enhance the religion, then if I need to get a missionary or something, it'll be all right. I'm making a lot of, I'm making decent faith per turn right now. It's not stellar, but it's good. Um, okay, that road is done. You can finish the road there. You don't need to do the roads anymore. Why don't we get you to do cool stuff like the iron? That'll be nice. You finished that farm. You're going to go do the deer. Is there anything else to build here by Kassiri Brim? Yes, that I want to improve. Yeah, Kassiri Brim, like, I need this tile to expand, but we're not doing it. Oh, we're going to expand the cows, though. Never mind, that's fine. I'm cool with that, actually. I need food here. I'm really food starved because I'm working a bunch of the uh, other type tiles, like the horses that make everything build faster. Pia has made peace with Joser. Did Pia get a bunch more cities for that? No, it doesn't look like it. So, oh, you got a promotion. Good on you. How are we staffed here? We got double open. We got nothing. We have rough. We have double open, and we have double open. So you definitely want to go rough. We're a little shy on rough guys right now. Uh, okay, you stay there, and custody has just grown. Speaking of, I need food desperately. I mean, I would like the faith, but I need you to grow, buddy. So why don't you go here, and then we'll put you on the cows shortly. I need you to keep growing. Uh, yep, do this. I guess we'll crank a temple for now. We'll get barracks and stuff in a bit. I'm still trying to... War is not going to come immediately, and I still need to keep my infrastructure high and strong. I'm trying to Vancouver, and what happened here? Cobble seeks a great general. That may not happen anytime soon there, Cobble. But when it does, we'll be friendlier. All right, go back on the road. You go back in town. Overwatch. <laughs> Overwatch! Playing too much XCOM! No, <laughs> you can never play too much XCOM. That's a joke. Uh, no, you, you actually probably can. It's just, I'm just playing a lot of it. It's okay. So we finally get the lighthouse up. We can drop these tiles here a little better. I can do that. That's still decent growth, and it'll help my production of crap ton. I'll work that one with the next citizen. Would that make sense? I should put this first. Five turns to a citizen? Yeah, then we'll work that a lot faster. That's worth it. Uh, and then we have the National College done, so our science up to 73. This is going to speed medieval era much, Lee. Let me move this guy down so we control this tile away with uh, to minimize the risk of barbarians coming in. And, yeah, I'll keep an eye on this stuff with my trium as well. Between those two, the settlers should have a pretty easy time getting there. And then we'll have to probably drop another road this way, most likely. That's all right. Uh, you are fine. There you can stay back there. And what are we going to do with you? There's, is there a lot of production here? Not, there is a decent amount of production here, actually. So I can probably chop these into farms. At least this one, so I can fire across with whatever archer staffed here. Yeah, let me chop that one at least. It'll help the uh, water mill along. This is flat, right? Yeah, forest plains. And then we'll see what to do with that one. We do have a lot of production here, though, so we can still make lumber mills if need be. We'll figure something out with that. Not sure where I'm going to go. But right now, settler is the next most important thing coming out of Dongla in the near future. And then we're going to probably start building freshwater farms so Dongla can grow even harder. But I do want my iron. And if worst comes to worst, I can just sell the damn stuff, and it'll be even easier to make cash that way. So do that. Where's Dongla have grown? That's not a bad place to grow. Kerma has grown, and that's a good place to grow as well. Never mind. You're going to chop that? Yeah, actually, chop that first, but we're not going to make a farm. We're going to make a farm there as soon as you finish chopping. Chopping broccoli! Chopping! Uh, yeah, it's fine. Do that. Can I mean, barbarians embark? I think they can, can't they? I haven't seen it much. I saw that one time, that one game we played, that barbarians embarked. But I generally don't see that, so I'm not too worried about them running here and pillaging stuff. Uh, you're fine there. Yeah, Solib's doing fine. We're doing all right. I probably want to get this guy down here to cover the worker just a bit. I still don't have enough cash to upgrade a single guy into composites yet, and that's a little disconcerting, but that's the whole point of these markets about to come up. It's a remedy that insanity. After that, once we get civil service, we're going to get a lot more food from all these lakes we have in between. There's that guy. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm glad that guy is there, but he's going to come in and pillage my... Where, where? Ah! I was just here for so long, and as soon as I leave, that guy's like, no, no, no. He didn't say the magic word. What's that? No barbarians. Damn it! Um, okay, so that's really frustrating. I'm going to need to get another work boat out, and I'm going to lose happiness. God damn it. It's all right. <sighs> 
All right, we'll make that into a camp. We'll be all right. Looks like nothing's coming that way. I'm going to make sure that's the case, actually. I'm going to get that warrior to escort him a little bit. My money's going down. Why is my money going down to minus two? I guess I built something. Build more markets, damn it. I need money. I need so much money right now. Yeah, he's going to run in and just pillage my luxury. Son of a bitch. All right. All right, I'm an asshole. Oh, no, you didn't pillage it. Really? Wow, you're dumb. You're dumb and an asshole, but now apparently there's a barbarian down there to have to deal with. And I'll send an SEing force in a little bit. Okay, we finished that. So that's the road. That's why I went down to minus one. Now I'm back at minus two. Ah, uh, Faras, I need you to expand there, buddy. But that farm's not done. Let's at least finish that farm. I feel like I'm uh, not getting the stuff done if I don't do that. Mogadishu, hey, what's up? All right, so we're going to keep scooting around this way, exploring a little more, meeting city-states, being cool like that. Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of border friction with Narmer, but this city's going to be more or less pretty simple to take, I think. We can get over hills and stuff, and it'll be, yeah, sort of easy, I guess. We'll figure it out. But this is reserved for my settler, and let's keep going. Uh, yeah, let's be safer on that worker just a little bit. I don't trust uh, the AI not to kill me. I'm probably going to try to chop this to acquire this tile easier. Uh, so maybe I can get another freshwater farm for Solib if I need to. It'd be nice. Uh, promote a unit. You got promoted. Excellent. We're going to go boarding party. Because your job is going to be to kill barbarian units. And where did the hell did that guy come from? No, seriously. There's the camp. All right. Who wants to go kill the camp? <laughs> I was like, really? Again? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know. This is probably getting really, like, routine and annoying. It's like another barbarian encampment. Yes, sir, Bob. Unfortunately. All right. Let's bring you over here. It's pretty much the same amount of movement if you can time it that way. All right. Keep going. Onward. I digress. I don't digress. I'm just talking. Uh, go there. Chop that. Good. Make a farm there. That'll be nicer. Uh, you go here and heal, but now we know there's a camp there, so yay. Uh, we're gonna have to keep that guy safe and keep going. Perfect. And then my first mark is gonna come up soon, and we can upgrade our first guy into a composite now, which I probably want to do sooner rather than later, so it's more of a show of force against my enemies. They think twice about going in. Uh, not necessarily that I need them for immediate war, but, uh, minus three. What the hell? No, seriously, actually, what the hell? Why did that go to minus three? At least suddenly, pretty much. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Because I, I understand dropping a little bit, but minus three is a little intense, even for even for that. All right, well, I guess we'll have to wait for the market. I was going to upgrade my composite until I ran out of money. But three markets are coming up after this. Here, that's going to be a market, then a stoneworks. Uh, amphitheater. If I do that and I adopt the tradition policy, I'm going to get, like, I don't know, opera houses free, and that'll be pretty freaking cool, actually. Uh, but I do need to build my writer's guild somewhere. I've been delaying that, mainly because I don't know where the hell I'm going to build it, where I can actually staff it feasibly. I mean, Faras is doing okay on food, but that's not going to last. Cassidy Bream's a little shy, but it'll be better with civil service. Soleb, uh, it'll be good, too. You finished that already, didn't you? Okay, good. Build the freshwater farm there, because we need every single one of these we can. We have to spread these out. I mean, I guess I can just build it in Dongola, and that's all right. Do that, I guess. Market first, then the Writer's Guild. I need money so badly. It's not even not even humorous at this point. It's just kind of frustrating. All right. You grow first. Yes, grow first. The watermill's going to help with that as well. All right. And then we'll get the Writer's Guild there at least and crank up our culture a bit. And we can purchase... Oh, we purchase a missionary. Or we're going to wait for the profit. That's a good question. Do I purchase a missionary and try to get Solib converted? Or do we just wait for the profit, get the enhancement, and then do that crap? Because I can probably get this one back. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save for the profit. Let's get it enhanced before all the good stuff's gone. I'm going to wait just a little bit there, buddy, to get your composite on. Oh, our cargo ship ended. That's what happened. So you're going from Kabul. So I guess I can send this ship this way now. Because that route to Lhasa was pretty good. Oh, there may be barbarians out here, but I think the Lhasa ships will handle it. I'm hoping. Uh, let's, let's risk that a little bit. I think that's probably smart. So it was from Dongola to Lhasa, I think? Yeah, Dongola to Lhasa is 9 gold. Not worth a try. Go to Dongola first, and we'll get the money next turn. Someone grew. Uh, I think Kerma grew. I forgot to allocate it. That's alright. But all these little bit of rivers cutting through my lands here are going to be really good for growth. 
Be nice. Yeah, keep going here. I know you're gonna go there, but I want to confirm that's gonna happen. Kerma, yeah, you grew last turn. That's actually okay. You're growing fast enough, and I want lots and lots of production handy. So my money gets better. All right, so that's the first market up. That didn't help me that much, actually. Why does it feel like I'm not getting enough benefit from my money buildings? I don't know why. It's just, it's a mystery to me. All right, whatever. We're still going to start this expedition against these barbarians in a second. Uh, go right there, and we'll all be able to fire soon, I think. Yeah, we'll be able to fire soon. Next turn, though. All right, scout, keep exploring. What do we got? Okay, city-state island here, apparently. Mogadishu, Vancouver, and Kuala Lumpur are coexisting beautifully. Does any one of these guys want to trade right off me? No, they just want my religion, which I'm working on. I mean, I am spreading here, just not hard enough, I guess. Buddhism has got a foothold there. I'm spreading to Ife, and that's pretty hard. No one else seems to have a foothold there, and we're spreading there, too. Okay, so we may actually win that religious war in, in of belief, not like actual, like, you know, murder and killing religious war now those are those are less cool um okay what, what's going on here right man let's keep going beautiful and then our money will be better and then we'll actually be able to upgrade a first composite fancy that that'll be nice okay, come on and we're still basically not in the medieval yet so we'll have the cheap pagodas for a bit before the amounts increase uh horseback riding good and now we're hitting the civil service we're probably the last one to the medieval actually which is a bit crappy. Are we the last one in the medieval? Let's see. No, Pop is still in the classical, but he's a non-factor. So we're, we're the last one that's actually something resembling a decent factor. Ah, uh, Ramsey's declared war on Djoser, Djoser's declared war on Mogadishu. So Djoser, I guess he got taken down a bit, and Ramsey wants a piece as well. Djoser's way the hell down here. You have four cities, though. He's not a pushover like Apophis is right now, but I'm still a little worried for him. I worry about him. All right, we'll see what we can do with our scout there in a second. You can come here. You can come here and start blowing the crap out of these guys. Get some experience. Get everyone some experience. It's always good. Freshwater farm is going to be critical for Dongola as soon as they get that up. Do that. And now we can get our first composite, finally. Feels like it's been a little while. Uh, so money's improving. Let me get the writer's guild ahead of the market then. But the water mill must happen regardless. So come here and strong front. Yay, and now we're out of money. <laughs> But our military is improving. I have to prop one of these guys back in Dongola, I think. Because now we have a road network and get people around easier. Definitely want to go for engineering, too, at some point. Because we have a lot of rivers to cross. And this will make things a lot easier in the long run. Yeah, let me do that after iron working. Then we'll go to education, I think. Perfect. So we haven't delayed science enough yet. Faras has grown. Um, Yeah, that's probably the best place you can work right now. Barring that. I do want you to expand there, actually. That'd be a freshwater farm, and that'd be slick as hell. But for now, that's all we got. Oh, hi, friend. Oh, hey, yo. Killer tofu. All right, 37. A little more gold for our next composite. They're like, even barbarians have composites. Hurry the hell up. Okay, sorry, dude. Whatever, man. What happened here? Peace treaty with Apophis ended. That uh, doesn't really bother me. Yeah, basically, a lot of cities are growing about the same pace as our capital, so we are going to spread our culture buildings around a lot, especially here. This is going to be pretty fertile, I think, with lots and lots of good food tiles. So Castilla may get one of them and probably Faras the other one, and we just fine. Oh, you finished that. Good. Um, I guess we'll just keep farming as much as we possibly can right now. We have most of the other improvements done. Onward and upward, you finished that. And are we working the deer? We are. So let's pull back. Oh, we're going to chop this, right? I'm going to chop this so we can maybe acquire that tile before Yunu does. Uh, could I buy this tile? I could technically buy that tile, but 180 is not looking worthwhile. No, it is not, good sir. So try and keep an eye there. I've decided that's probably the safest bet overall. And we get to settle another city next turn. No, I'm not settling that close to the edge of the map. Thanks for asking. Just asking for trouble. Set there and next. Almost have another composite, guys. Our military is improving. Good God. And I'll have a chance at a profit, too, pretty soon. Speaking of good God. Um, and what are we going to do? I wonder what beliefs are left. We'll see. I want to keep it a surprise. I could go over the religion now, but nah. Let's keep it a mystery. Hi, you're actually shooting my archer. Why would you do that, you ass? He is an ass. All right, so he's losing and he's dying. That's good. Joseph's got a decent military, so he probably should be able to hold off Ramses. Uh, not quite medieval military tech, but hey, beautiful. Yeah, we'll hit civil service now, so that'll be just fine for me. Chop that real quick. Give me give me some Soleb love. Set up there. Uh, settler, go there, and we'll settle up our next city. 
very, very shortly, and then we'll finally have our continent more or less filled, and then we can start thinking about building up a bit more of a military and going after somebody. Unfortunately, it's going to probably be Narmer, because his capital is going to be such a boon. I mean, so many good things there. And we got a profit. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice, nice time. Let's set up our settler. This is a, this is, this is a big turn for us. This is really, really nice. Settler is good. Monument first, then library. And I guess we can go... Lighthouse would be good here. Grainer would be good. Lighthouse, Coliseum, Market. Yeah. That'll keep you busy, okay? Production focus as you do. And that's fine. Okay, cool. So, we can enhance our religion, which I'm going to do immediately. That was really, really, really lucky, actually. That we managed to get it uh, that quickly. That was like the turn we could get a profit. We suddenly got it. So, follower belief. Yeah, what do we got? Religious art, Hermitage. Yeah, there's not many good ones left. Can we still get itinerant preachers? Yes, we can. Okay, so this is not bad. We need itinerant preachers for sure to help my religion spread to the to my own cities, actually. More pressure. And then Divine Inspiration is okay, but probably won't have my religion in the cities actually get the wonders from. Choral music's probably good. Liturgical drama is probably good. This is the safest one, I think. And I think I'm going to take the Hermitage. Not a lot of great ones here. And this is five culture and five tourism. And five tourism is big. I mean, that's like two and a half great works. So I'll get that. I'll get religious art, and that'll be a good benefit for myself. So let's take it that way. I like that a lot. And there we go. Pagodas with religious art, tithing, Earth Mother based uh, pantheon with some itinerant preachers spreading the good word of Zoroastrianism. I like that. Let's rock and roll. All right. Very cool. I am happy about this now. Um, got our religion up, and then. You'll see the pressure is going to increase now, 14 and 14. We're tying up with Islam, at least, uh, because mo more of our cities are adding pressure on our cities. Right now, see, look at that. That's why Tinder Preacher is so damn good. I love that belief. It's really strong. And we have 14 pressure here. So we're actually going to convert these around pretty hard. It's just This is going to be the battleground a little bit, but I can take a missionary to Solub and then get majority, because missionaries are not going to be that expensive yet. Still just 200. Yeah, and then we'll keep a pagoda. We'll keep a missionary in there. we just fine. Cool. And we even got the cows. Man, everything is coming up Millhouse. I'll tell you what. This is this is a this is a good turn for us. It's like a nice one. All things are just lining up. I think that's a good place to stop right here. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of the Battle for the Nile. As things are looking up for our little empire, we have our sixth city definitely well oiled, well greased, and well located here, covering our trade routes to our city states to the west. We have our continent more or less settled. I I mean I could, if I really wanted to, drop another city here just to get the incense. It would be a bit of a reach city, and it may be hard to defend, but, you know, stranger things have happened, and it is we did go liberty, so I could see that being justified next time, but it will have to be next time. Until that time, Ivan Nurse, thanks for tuning in, and we will see how our beautiful little empire is going to advance in this very, very cruel world we find ourselves in. But you know what? It is a battle for the Nile. Things are going to get messy soon. Count on it. I'll see you then. Till then.